All right, everybody. It's your boy, Trucker AJ. So I just want to talk to y'all about what I'm going to eat today because I'm starting my diet technically today, but I'm starting keto on the 1st. So what I'm doing is I'm going to take and eat lower amounts of carbs until the 1st. So tonight is the 30th, and tomorrow is the 31st, and then... What is it? Wednesday is the first. Is the first, is when I start my keto keto. So like tonight, I'm going to eat probably about 70 carbs for dinner, and it's the only carbs I've had the entire day. Uh, I haven't been drinking my carbs. I've got some uh, Diet Mountain Dew and water that I've been drinking all day. For lunch, I took and I had just um, a big handful of ham. For lunch. And now I'm about to eat, I don't know, about a half a can of carrots. Uh, about one mashed up big potato. Plus some salt and pepper and garlic and onion powder. And I got a big handful of ham to take and eat with it too. So those potatoes, probably about eh, 60 carbs. Probably less than that. I'm just giving a few extras because I, I didn't really measure it before I put them in there. And um, that's what I'm going to eat for the night. And it is, what time is it now? It's 11 o'clock at night. I don't get off till 5. But that should hold me over till I wake up tomorrow to eat some lunch before I come into work. Because, uh, let's see, what's my schedule? My schedule is I work 5 p.m. to 5 a.m., and then I get off, I go home, I go to sleep around 6, 6.15. I wake up between 12 and 1.32. And I get up, fix me something to eat, fix my dinner, take it to work with me. Spend some time with the family. And I eat before I come to work. And then I eat lunch at work at between 11 and 1.30. And then uh, I go home. And I don't eat again until I wake up the next day. Because I'm tired. I'm not worried about food. I'm worried about closing my eyes. Cuddling with my wife for a minute and falling asleep. Because I don't work all night. I'm tired. I'm more worried about getting the job done. Going home and going to sleep. So tonight I'm going to do with that 60 carbs. Tomorrow I'm going to try to have it down to like uh, between 40 and 30 carbs for tomorrow. And then start in the first, it's going to be about 20 carbs or less for my first day of keto. So, the way I, the reason I do it like that is to have less stomach problems. Not that I have a lot of stomach problems, but you know, when you, uh, when you first go on keto, you feel really lethargic when you first start and you're tired, when you get what they call the keto flu. And I try to do a two or three day downgrade to low carbs. Like usually I do it in three days. Like the first day I take and I start drinking diet drinks or water or diet juice. And then the next day I count my carbs like I'm doing now. Turn the CB off. I do about 60 to 75 carbs. And then the next day... I do between 30 and 40, and I'm lined up to start my low-carb keto at 20 grams or less of carbohydrates. And it keeps you from having stomach acid problems, or you just feel like you're about to damn die because you're hungry. And it also helps wean you off of those cravings before you have that set checkpoint of, I'm starting my keto full-fledged. So it gives you time for your mind and your body to kind of adjust to the diet when you downgrade your carbs into the ketogenic diet. From my experience, I've done the, I've done low carb a few times. I've done keto a few times. I've taken and lost 20, uh, 30, 40 pounds 
depending on the diet and the time frame I was doing it with. I think the last time, uh, right before my son was born, I lost like 40 pounds in three months doing a keto diet. I was working nights up in Atlanta as well. So I've done it before, so I have a little bit of knowledge about it. I'm just fat and I like food and I can't get my head wrapped around to take and lower my portions and I take and I eat with my emotions. So if I'm like depressed or sad or not having a good day, I'll eat so I can get some dopamine. So I'm not really eating for the taste of the food. I'm eating to get that hit of dopamine to make me feel better about everything. I don't know why, that's just how I am. I guess I was growing up and that was the one thing we didn't have to worry about was food. Whether whether anything else, we was poor. We had everything. We had everything. We didn't have everything we wanted, but we had everything we needed. And we needed food, so we never went without a meal. We might not have brand new clothes. We might not have the best of everything, but we was not hungry at all. So... I guess that kind of programmed me to to eat with my emotions. I don't know why, but I, I've noticed that now that I'm an adult. I'm 31 years old. I got eight years, nine years of truck driving experience, and I've learned that I eat with my emotions for some reason. Like if I'm bored at work and I just need something to keep me going, I don't care what it is. I can go grab anything to eat. And it's like I instantly feel better because I get that dopamine release like I just treated myself. So I can go work some more. So that's that. But I'm going to get to my food because I'm hungry. I ain't not just that ham about 2 o'clock today. And it is 11.03. And this big bowl is hungry. So he's about to eat. Y'all have a good night. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. That subscribe button's right there. Y'all stay tuned for more videos about this diet I'm going on. And hopefully I can turn it into a ketogenic lifestyle. We'll see what happens. Thank y'all.